Montgomery Blair High School excels at preparing its students for higher education or work opportunities after graduating. However, not all graduates choose to go to college right away, electing instead to take a year off to volunteer, work, or travel. Several Blair students have decided to put college off and pursue other opportunities. These are their stories. My name is Hannah Weintraub and I'm a senior at Blair and next year I'll be taking a gap year. My name is Nick Hagen. I'm a senior here at Blair and I will be going on a gap year next year instead of going to college immediately. Alright, well I'm Conlon. I'm a senior. I'm going to take a gap year and I'll probably do AmeriCorps. Hi, my name is Julie Mann and I'm taking a gap year and I'm a senior at Blair. So I'm going to be going to Israel for nine months um, with a group of about 40 other teenagers who are my age. And I'll be doing work there, learning Hebrew, learning about Israel, taking trips around the country. What I'm going to end up doing over the next year is I'm going to be doing conservation work in uh, the Patagonia region of Argentina and Chile, uh, building trails and things. And conservation is something that I've always been interested in. I've built trails before and I really like doing that so I hope to hopefully over the six months that I'm going to be there I'll have a pretty significant impact and uh, build a lot of trails that other people can enjoy and hike on so that way they can see the world too. I'm going to take a gap year and I'll probably do AmeriCorps. They go into um, you know places like PG County, Southeast DC and they help run after school programs and they talk to the kids and they try to get them to do their work and stay motivated even though it's not the best environment. I wanted to start off with working two jobs if I can and after that build my money up and then hopefully go to graphic design school in about like three years with that money that I saved up. So I figured that taking this time to kind of um, do something outside of the norm and go do something a little bit different help me focus in on what I want to do with my career and with my life. I decided to go on a gap year for lots of reasons. Uh, the biggest one being that I just fell in love with travel and realized that I wanted to do that as much as I possibly could before I died. I'll have experience in the social work field and that's what I want to do, but I want to learn how to approach different problems with different people. I, I'm always looking for perspective, I guess, so I'm always looking to learn new things. And so if somebody can come to me and you know enlighten me to a problem that they're having, especially if it's a kid, it's really touching. It's like, oh, this is going on at home, this is going on at home, you know, and I learn a lot about how to help them with that problem and I can apply it in the future. I just needed the money and stuff like that, so I wanted to like build myself off because I'm really into graphic designing and all that stuff, and I don't really have to rely on nobody but myself. And basically, I want to do everything on my own instead of asking my parents. There's a graphic design school in New York, and hopefully, they're like my foundation to my graphic designing success. If you're interested in something, then uh, look for programs or internships that you can do with that. It's different than what everyone else is doing which is scary, so it's a bit of a different decision. Depending on what you want to do, you can learn a lot before going to school. You get a break after, you know, four years of grinding it out. And, uh, you know, you get a taste of what the real world's like. The most important things that you learn are the things that you don't expect. I think it's, there's so much learning that um, can't happen in a classroom, and that you really need to just kind of go out and like experience the world and just see what's out there. Um, because this is maybe the last time that we'll really have this freedom. 